near Wheatland, Wyoming. Yeah, this is a great day. Mike Lockhart is in search of golden eagles. A lure eagle, some bait, and patience are the tools of his trade. Wow. I've been doing eagle work since the 70s, so it's something that I enjoy and I really like. I just need a little bit. Lockhart was hired by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the U.S. Geological Survey to tag golden eagles so they can better track their movements. But coaxing them out of the sky isn't easy. Yes, they can be very hard to catch, particularly when you have bad luck like I've had. <laughs> the wind is a blessing and a curse for golden eagles. They rely on it to get around places like Wyoming. But man's efforts to harness that wind have put those birds in peril. Wind turbines have proved fatal to many golden eagles who typically look down for food as they're flying, not straight ahead. There's really nothing in the evolutionary history of a, of a golden eagle that prepares it for a set of spinning blades in the sky. Todd Katzner of the USGS is among the scientists who are working to minimize fatal eagle turbine collisions, which are estimated to number in the hundreds in the U.S. each year. Satellite telemetry devices, when attached to golden eagles before they're released, help chart their flight paths and could eventually guide wind energy companies' decisions on where turbines are placed. If we can get the tools in front of them beforehand to show them, okay, here are some models that say, you know, this is just a very risky area that gives them the ability early on to choose a different location or move the location just a little east or west. Easy. Lockhart says there's an art to trapping these birds, particularly warrior adults. The results are rarely immediate, as we discovered over parts of two days. It's dead. Oh, here's a bird. Hey, sit. Oh, he's going diving on something. Stay. Oh, it's a hawk. Damn it. Why is it way the over there? Okay. Son of a where the hell are all the eagles? <sighs> but there are payoffs. It's nice to be outside just looking at wildlife. It's better than being at a desk. His work could help keep golden eagles, which are protected by U.S. law, from declining in numbers. The data are going to be so fine scale and so powerful that I think it's really going to help us create some, some tools that are very useful for people. Yeah. That information could allow these birds to fly a little more freely just a few years from now. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, near Wheatland, Wyoming.